Doesn't matter where you start at It only matters where your heart's at You got a chance but to take that There's no time just to waste that See we only get one shot Like we only get one life And even when you get beat down Come back like the sunrise Everybody wanna tell you Everything you can't do They ain't never step foot in your shoes I'ma tell you Anything you want You can get it Chase your dreams Like you really can't lose All you gotta do is get it Shoot for the stars Don't give it All you gotta do is stay driven Focus on the mission Man, they just lack ambition But you, I can tell you got a vision So follow your dream Welcome back to another auspicious vlog. Um, welcome everybody. <laughs> we do have a lot of people um, coming over from Bella Brandt family. Um, so yeah. today's video we're going to go over cutest laxa, yes. what it is, what information that we've gathered gathered yeah. um, over the year or two years that um, we've had Nathan and finding out his diagnosis and what it was. Yeah. Um, because a lot of people are asking, you know, like... They want more information. Yeah, they want, basically they want more information, basically. Yeah. Um, so that's what we're going to cover yeah. mostly today in this video. Yeah. So what is cutis laxa? So cutis laxa, when you ask anybody who has it, they all say the same thing. Loose skin or no elasticity in the skin. Mm -hmm. So... That means that there's basically no glue that holds the skin together. So that could be inside and, and outside of the yes. skin. So there's different types of cutis laxa. That's one thing that I want everyone to understand because when they go to look up cutis laxa, they see that, oh, cutis laxa is a you know genetic disease that yeah. affects the skin and one in a million kids are affected. However, Nathan's case is different because it's not just cutis laxa. It's a different type and it's related to a different disease. Mm -hmm. So that is why we are going to explain a little bit more. Yes. And his his gene was inher inherited. I can never say that word. Inherited. Yeah, yeah. We'll <laughs> like, get to that yeah. too. So um, first off, what is cutis laxa? So when you look up the word, that's what you'll get. This is basically skin. The skin is loose, so the fibers are different in the skin, and affects some. Some of them get affected internally with lungs and stuff like that. So. Now we're going to move into different types. So there's cutis laxa type 2, B, cutis laxa type 3, A, and B, and then there's different mutations for each one. Mm -hmm. I know there's one that I that sticks in my mind. It's P1C1 or something like that. Uh, and that you see with uh, cutis laxa type 2. Uh, now, when you dig a little deeper, you can go to rare rarediseases.org and you can type in cutis laxa and you'll find some information there but there is one place that where you will find everything about cutis laxa okay and that's cutis laxa international mm -hmm. right and so right there you will find everything there's a there's a place in pittsburgh uh which is dedicated to study cutis laxa but this is just people who have cutis laxa um one thing that shocked me is that acquired cutis laxa that one is so crazy because acquired cutis laxa can happen at any moment to anybody. So it could be Pam is uh, going to be, let's suppose, 35 years old, right? And boom, I don't know where she'll get that. You know what I'm saying? Or I'm going to go and I'm going to turn 40, boom, and I'll get it. So that is the. Um, is the things that we found out. We're a part of a Cutis International, Cutis Laxa International group on Facebook, and we read all the information of different people who have Cutis Laxa, but there's hardly anybody with Nathan's. Nathan's. So yeah. Nathan's is the mutation. This is the part that you guys would have to research if you guys want to help us out. It's ALDH18A1. I'll repeat it one more time. ALDH18A1. That's a mutation. It's called a de novo mutation. The novo means it's brand new, yes. so it's a new mutation. And so we were told that it wasn't inherited by either of us. It just happens out of nowhere. 
So the way that the geneticist said is that it's pretty much like a hitting the lottery in the gym pool. It just happens, no way of explaining it. There's a 1% chance that it'll happen again if we decide to have another baby. So that can happen to anybody at any moment. So I need everyone to understand that. Yeah. So with Nathan's condition as well, it's not just cutislaxa type three. With this mutation, it relates it to DeBarzi syndrome. And it hasn't been verified by the geneticists, right? This is just information that I found and we've yeah, dug out the, yeah. together. And we've kind of, you know, compared his symptoms to like Other. the notes of what we've read basically yeah so when pam you know is searching you know she's reading about something she sends it to me and i revise it and then i send her some stuff so we both have done our our, our job as far as like wanting to learn more and stuff like that we do have our own group it's a private group with the people who don't well, who do have we can't talk <laughs> who do have a uh, cutis laxa type 3 and it's um i'm not going to get give out their names but uh, one is in Romania and then the other one is in Russia mm -hmm. you know so um, we are in communication with each other but it's not like it's the similar diagnosis well, it's a similar diagnosis but the genes are or mutations are different so the symptoms are different you get what I'm saying so I need everyone to understand that um, you guys can do all your research I do I recommend you guys to just look up that mutation because that will lead you to different types of cutis mm -hmm. laxa and stuff like that uh, there's also another form of cutis laxa it's autosomal recessive cutis laxa that's a different type um, so if anybody's on it right now, if anybody right now is in the hospital and someone just gave you the diagnosis of cutis laxa, look up on Google cutis laxa and hopefully this video will come up and go to Facebook. There's a group called cutis laxa international. They won't let you in if you, if you don't have the diagnosis, you actually have to have paperwork that you have this diagnosis. Otherwise they won't let you in. This is a private group specifically for cutis laxa families. Um, so right there, get in there and then we'll be able to, there's a whole bunch of people there who support mm -hmm. each other, who, who have information basically on cutis laxa. So unfortunately, we don't get that much information because ours is really different, ours yeah. is really rare. Um, there isn't a specific number, number as to how many people are affected, like, you know, one in a million. Um, I think with Nathan, it's fewer than one in a million. Yeah, so, uh, we're still, uh, with this whole, uh, adventure, I guess <laughs> you can call it, we have found other people who have cutis laxa and we've guided them to this um, group yeah. or we've guided them to, to, to different uh, things yeah. or things that they've done for Nathan here like um, you know like uh, procedures or whatever that he's been yeah. through or he's mm -hmm. done you know we've kind of said like well maybe you should try this because even though they have different diagnosis there is a little bit of similarities mm -hmm. in them um, and they're like, well, you know, we didn't even know that, or, you know, you know, great, you know, I'll talk to the you know, pediatrician or, you know, whatever. Yeah. So yeah. Um, it feels good that, you know, in a way, like, he's kind of helping us guide other people. Because, yeah. we, you know, we would just be yeah. like them. Like, we knew nothing. When they said cutis laxa when he was in the NICU, they gave us a diagnosis. I was like, what is that? And then... Um, she, uh, the geneticist gave us a pamphlet and it had, you know, some information on there and it was o so overwhelming, you know, because it's like all these big words and, you know, they have these pictures, you know, of, of these kids and I'm yeah. like, well, this is wrong because, you know, like my baby doesn't look like this, you know, yeah. like there's something wrong. But. Yeah, there's some deformities that come yeah. with cutis laxa yes. and you'll see a lot of, uh, a lot of other kids who have the deformities a lot more severe than others and that is always that's a good point that Pam brought up because that all depends on the mutation that the kid has right so um, when Pam is saying that when we got the pamphlet um, of course we didn't know where to go and even still now at any doctor's office where you go and you say cutis laxa, most people don't understand or don't yeah. know what it is <clears throat> so we're making this video not only for the new people who are coming in in our channel and for the people who have been here, 
but for the new people that are searching right now Cutis Laxa, what yeah. is Cutis Laxa? And we will put all the links down, down below of, of Cutis Laxa so that way we can help other people. If you think you might have Cutis Laxa, if a doctor mentioned Cutis Laxa to you, I hope that this kind of helps you guys out and you guys know where to go from here. Uh, like I said, our situation with Nathan is very, very different, so we don't like understand the rest of just cutis laxa, right. cutis laxa type two. Uh, those we don't understand because our our case is completely different, and we've talked about it with everybody there in, in that group, and they, you know, they, you know, yours is Debarzi syndrome for sure, so uh, it's different, um, but maybe that can help. Okay, so we hope that this message goes out. To as many people as possible yeah. but you guys can probably understand now what what this is and how it you know it happens uh we are um trying to learn more as we go trying to get as much information as we go so if you guys do your own research on aldh 18a1 with cutis laxa type 3a type 3b whatever you guys you know want to look up you guys are more than welcome we've pretty much looked everywhere so that doesn't mean that somebody out there doesn't know what yeah. this is and maybe they're, they're interested in learning more about you know cutis laxa type 3 so anyway so again cutis laxa uh international and then there's um what's uh, the one in pittsburgh what's what's the name dr urban right dr. Urban. yeah so dr urban from pittsburgh that's another thing that you can probably do uh, a biopsy and they, you can send your skin over to um over there and they can test it and they can you know you can join the research over there so mm -hmm. um so that's our message to anybody who has cutis lax or, or wondering we're a cutis lax a family here so if you guys have any questions you guys can reach us uh on our social media platforms and uh we can talk a little bit more and we're happy to help on on that and because we know what it's like so mm -hmm. anyways uh that's pretty much it for this video we want to just kind of talk about that uh, but anyways that's pretty much it let's roll in the shout outs for the week pretty much it for the video thanks guys for watching all the way through uh, don't forget to share the video so that way more people are aware of cutis lax uh, if you guys want to get shout out in our next YouTube video all you guys got to do is subscribe turn on post notifications and comment something positive down below yes that's right and as my family always says remember guys you are auspicious, auspicious. we'll see you guys next time have a good day bye